So some of the craziest news that I've ever seen in my lifetime when it comes to the sports world has came out in these past 30 minutes. I was actually sitting down at Buffalo Wild Wings eating with my friends. We were watching the Florida-Miami game. When my friend shows me his phone, and Andrew Luck, out of nowhere, has officially retired from the NFL at the age of 29 and I have so many mixed emotions about this dude. Like it's Andrew Luck, literally one of the nicest guys you've ever seen play this sport. One of the kindest, nice hearted, a great leader, a great just ambassador for the sport as a whole out of nowhere retires and the early reports of the fact that he's just mentally worn down because that is the truth. Like he has been hurt so many times, uh, bad injuries, concussions, neck problems. I mean, it wasn't there was one time he's out for about a year and a half. And I guess, I mean, that makes sense. And the reason that you're making a video on this is that it brings up such an important point that I don't think a lot of people actually understand. And it's a point that I've brought up before in my videos with my platform that I try to talk about as this guy just literally walked away from millions and millions and millions and millions of potential dollars just for the sake of his own happiness. And I've kind of seen that in my own platform and with what I do. And I've learned that the hard way myself. And that's something that I really wish we could ingrain at a younger age. I mean, everybody has this. Everybody has this ideology that we're supposed to go to school, get a job, you make money, build a house, and you're happy. If you make money, make a lot of money, you're happy. And that's just not the case. And that's proven right here. I mean, if it's all about money, Andrew Luck would have stayed five, six more years made 20, 30, 40, what am I even saying that? 100, 200 million dollars. But in the sake of, for his own happiness, this man said, I can't take this anymore. This is too hard on my body. I'm not enjoying this. It's too hard on me mentally. And he walked away. And that's just something that, like, that should show you right there. This man had a potential. I know he's made a lot of money already, but still, with that much money left on the platform, in the sake of his own happiness, just walks and steps away. And it's it's so sad to see, dude. Like, I, I've been tweeting about this ever since it came out. Like, this is probably the most shocking. This is more shocking than the Calvin Johnson retirement. And honestly, in terms, this is one of the saddest things I've ever seen happen in the history of professional sports, especially in my lifetime. Such a nice, this talented guy, dude. This guy has brought this extremely untalented Indianapolis Colts team to the playoffs multiple times on his own back, even being as injured and just beat up as he was. And it's just so sad to see, dude. It's one of the biggest what-if stories. People have stayed healthy. Like, he's one of the most talented quarterbacks I've seen in my lifetime as well. And just because of injuries and unfortunate circumstances, he has to make this, the smart decision for him, his family, his future, to step away from a ton of money. And it's just, like, I can't even wrap my mind around it. I even said, I mean, this like as a Titans fan, obviously, I'm like, this is a good thing, but who cares about that at this point? As The human enemy is like, this is... Like, this is just, honestly, some of this, this is so sad. Like, I want you guys to let me in the comment section below what you think about this. But, like, I wanted to come on here and make a video about that because that's really important. I mean, if there's anything I can do with the platform that I do have, the little things that I have witnessed myself and my own experiences, if I can kind of help give you a different perspective, I try to do that. And that's kind of, I understand, like, with what I've done, I understand his where he's at, like, happiness is there's no monetary value that can replace happiness happiness and if he is unhappy because of his the beatings that he's been taking his mental health is his, his physical health has taken a huge toll obviously which is now obviously impacting his mental health i just think like this this just shows you what really is important at the end of the day and money is not it. And it's just, it's, it's just one of the saddest things I've seen in such a long time, dude. It's literally like one of the most talented quarterbacks I've ever seen. It's actually insane. Like, it's just, like just having to put all this, like, this is just so hard to wrap everything around. Like, I even saw a tweet. It's crazy. RG3 has lasted in the league longer than Andrew Luck. It's, I mean, that's not anything to – it's just all these little things. It's just trying to put this whole entire circumstance into perspective. Like, it's just literally just – what I'm trying to say is this is one of the craziest things I've seen in the history of the NFL. Quarterback in his prime retiring just at the sake of his own happiness. And I think for him, that is a magnificent decision. It's sad, but at this point in his career, I think it's a smart thing to do. And that's all without even saying how much this actually impacts 
the AFC South. And I even feel I feel like selfish and weird talking about that because I don't feel like that should be on anybody's mind right now. But it's the truth. Like how much has actually changed the landscape of the NFL, specifically in the AFC South. Like that division is. It's, I feel bad for Colts fans in general, but at this time, like. I think it's that that shouldn't be where our focus is right now. It's just like this whole entire ordeal at the end of the day should just try like if you take anything out of this, and I'm sure Andrew Luck himself would want this to be the case. Out of if you take anything out of the situation, this should help you see sports and money and happiness all in a completely different perspective. And I'm sure Andrew Luck, if anything happens, if anything comes from this in a positive light outside of his happiness on his own, he would probably love to see people look at money and everything like that in a completely different light. And I think it's important, you know. And um but it, I mean it, in all reality it does affect like football, like this, the division, the Colts team, like that's like dr- so how dramatic is that? The Colts invested everything into this dude, number 1 draft pick. He's been he's literally been the face of the franchise. No pun intended. And just like that, he's gone, but 100% understandable and 100%, I believe, he deserves to be able to live his life with as much happiness as possible. And in this case, it means stepping away from hundreds of millions of dollars. But I think, I mean, the guy, he went to Stanford. He graduated from, or did he graduate from Stanford? Regardless, he's a smart guy. He's going he's gonna to find a way to, to make millions and millions of dollars. One of the nicest guys, smartest guys NFL's ever seen. And I'm sure outside of football, he is going to make a magnificent name of himself and he's going to be successful no matter what he does outside of football but there's still a shocker and surprising and insane what you guys let me know in the comments section below what you think about that um i don't know that's just insane i know this is a normal video i do but with the, what i wanted to say i thought it was important but guys hopefully you did enjoy let me know again what you think about this in the comment section below subscribe if you are new turn on the notification bell if you haven't i'll catch you guys next time a great rest of your day god bless and peace